first thing that you're going to want to do is get inside the house. There's an entrance into the basement on the side of the house. Once you drop down, you're going to want to start looking for keys. The keys you're going to be looking for are the hall key, bedroom key, and the attic key. First, let's focus on the hall key. The hall key mostly spawns on the first floor, but occasionally it will spawn on this table in the basement. Once you've got the hall key, you need to find the bedroom key. Just start looking around downstairs, opening up doors in the process. Once you've got the bedroom key, you can start looking for the attic key. This key can spawn on both the first and second floors of the house. However, I usually find it somewhere upstairs. Just unlock these bedrooms and look around. It's usually laying on top of one of these white dressers and it's pretty easy to spot because it does have a heart-shaped handle. Unlike the hall and bedroom keys, those are good for multiple doors. The attic key is only good for one set of double doors. There are two entrances to the attic, one on each side of the second floor of the house. When you finally make it all the way up there with the attic key or even with a buddy or two who has it, you need to start looking around for this set of double doors. These doors will unlock immediately and open upon interacting with them. It will release the marked darkness dolls to run off into the house for a fun little game of hide and seek. But before you go running off into the house looking for them, you need to make sure you grab this basement key. This is the key required to open the door in the basement for access to the furnace where you're going to be burning the marked dolls. If you haven't run all the way back downstairs yet to unlock this basement door, then just follow me real quick. All right, here's the furnace and it's ready to be used right now. But to use the furnace, you need to have the following three items showing in your inventory. You may have some of these items already in your inventory showing, or you've maybe at least seen them laying around the house. But the first thing you need are matches. You can find matchbooks laying all around the house on every floor. The matches are infinite, so they have an unlimited use. You can use them over and over. Once you pick them up, you've got them forever. As long as there's wood inside the furnace, matches can serve two purposes. One, to burn the dolls to to revive teammates that have been turned into dolls. The second item you need for the furnace is firewood. Unlike the matches, wood is limited but can be found placed around the house, mainly in the basement and attic areas. Best advice I can give for your first stack of wood, it needs to be picked up when you're looking for the attic key. Try saving most of the wood that's closest to the furnace for last, but the wood pile that is directly next to the furnace absolutely needs to be saved for the final doll. How you choose to manage firewood is a crucial step for winning. If you're standing in front of a lit furnace, with wood showing in your inventory, try not to waste it. If the furnace is already lit, there's only one thing you should be trying to throw into the fire, the dolls. But not just any dolls, you need these dolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. These are the marked or darkness dolls you're gonna be throwing into the fire. As long as the furnace is lit and there isn't another doll occupying it, you can burn one at a time. A cold, dark, empty furnace looking like this one first needs fresh firewood and then some matches to light it. A warm, glowing furnace like this one might just need a doll thrown into it. If you do everything correctly, you should see the number of marked dolls remaining display on the screen as you hear the girl shrieking burning the incorrect doll in the furnace will allow the girl, Emily, Emily, I think, to regain her health by one increment. But that's also one last pacify doll on the map to help keep you safe. But there is an achievement for burning the wrong doll. Wrong doll, yeah, I got it. Oh, there she is. So if trophy hunting and getting achievements done is your thing, then there's an easy one for you. You probably already have this trophy. I got mine naturally just by not knowing what I was doing. Sometimes there's one in the basement too, like right behind me where I just was. Oh wow, I did the wrong doll! Dang it! This is the only item on the map that represents anything related to health, or better yet, a means of defense. If you don't have one of these dolls equipped in your inventory, and Emily finds you, you're gonna get got. That's it. It's over for you. But if you do have one of these dolls on you though, and she finds you, the doll will immediately disappear from your inventory, ultimately pacifying her for a brief period of time. As you probably guessed, you got a small window of time to go find another one of these dolls. I'm not really sure how long it is, but you're definitely gonna run into her again. The more you progress through the mission, Imola, whatever, she is going to get significantly more difficult, especially when you get down to about three dolls. You can only manage one doll at a time, so pay attention to the bottom left of the screen to see which kind of doll is equipped. If you try to pick up the same type of doll or item again, it will say you already have an item like that. You have to press a uh, circle to drop an item of the same kind to then pick up a different one. If you're holding an orange pacify doll and you go to pick up a gray 
marked darkness doll, vice versa, you will swap the orange doll out for the gray doll, leaving the orange doll exactly where the gray doll just was. This is something you're going to want to practice and get familiar with because it's another crucial step for winning. I have a whole strategy I like to do with this. The orange pacify dolls can also be dropped over railings, which is super helpful when you're zooming around trying to get things done. At the start of each match, when I'm still collecting all the keys, I try to grab as many of the pacify dolls as possible and get them in closer proximity to the basement. Speaking of as many pacify dolls as possible, in pacify multiplayer, there is a duplication glitch for these dolls that I can 100% confirm works on PlayStation. It just has to be done in multiplayer and it cannot be the host. So in order for this to work, you just need to be playing online. You have the options of selecting quick play or accepting an invite from a friend or joining a another player's session through their profile, whatever. You just can't be the host. To perform the pacify doll duplication glitch, as far as I know, you need at least two pacify dolls and a closed door, which might actually have to be locked, and you're going to want to drop one of the dolls right in front of the closed door, but don't move your character with a thumbstick anymore after this. You're still going to be able to swivel the camera around with that stick, just don't make the character move out of place during this. They need to be standing still. Then pick up the other doll and drop it right next to the doll that's already been dropped in front of the locked door. When you drop the dolls, you have to wait on this animation to finish before trying to pick it up again. I think the trick is to drop them as close to each other as possible in front of a locked door, closed door, wait on the animation to finish, then pick one of them up again without moving your character around. You have to like pick the same doll up and drop it again and pick it up again. You'll know it's working when you see one in your inventory and you you still see the dolls sitting in front of the door. It's just too bad you can't do this in single player, but what if I told you I had another trick up my sleeve that could help you out in single player? I mean, if there's a glitch for the pacify dolls in multiplayer, could that possibly mean that there's a glitch for the marked dolls in single player? Well, yeah, sort of. It's not really a duplication glitch or even technically a glitch at all, but what I'm about to show you is far more OP in my opinion than the duplication glitch. This strategy can also be implemented and multiplayer. I love that there's so many places you can try this, but I've got two places I like to do it most. After the dolls have run out of the attic to scatter about the mansion, they're all over the place and they're going to be kind of tricky to find, right? Well, especially if you don't know the layout of the house too. Even after starting to memorize their favorite places and the map, I still had trouble finding one or two, maybe three dolls to burn. So I thought it would be nice to find some little sweet spot that could function as like a playpen so I could cage those little miscreants together all at once. And yeah, I pretty much did just that. Here and here, these are my two favorite spots. With a marked doll equipped, jump right on into this crowded mess of fake plastic plants and drop the draw, <laughs> drop the draw, drop the doll like so, and just hop back out. Now the little rug rat is stuck. Absolutely cannot run away from this shit. Get a few dolls stuck right here and here, maybe five or six of them. I don't know, whatever works for you, however many you think you can do. You don't have to worry so much with actually looking for the dolls. You've got the knowledge of where these dolls is. And whether you decide to use this information or not. I'm going to show you real fast a couple spots that the dolls like to hang out at. Whichever doll you see down here, whether it's this one or this one, save it for last. This should be the very last doll that you are burning. Don't worry about this one running away unless you just tried to pick it up. Leave it here till the end. Attic dolls. I mean, sometimes there's one or rarely two that like to get left behind up here. If you have to come up here to find a doll to burn, try to come up with no wood in your inventory so you can grab some from the attic instead. Again, conserving the wood supply in the basement. The second floor bedrooms, uh, the, these dolls like to stand together on top of each other. There's this spot right here. Uh, on the balcony, second floor balcony. They like to hang out here all the time. Mark dolls like to hang out and congregate together at the bottom of the stairs. Dolls like to run up and down this little hallway right here. And yeah, usually I uh, see dolls a lot over here in this corner in the hallway. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video could help somebody. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Why would you burn the girl?